Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Zyxel Support Campus. Today I would like to introduce the Zyxel LTE5388 router to you. It's a compact router that's working on the 4G wireless LTE network, but can also be your home gateway from an internet provider that comes with cable. Let's see what's inside the box. The device is delivered in an eco-friendly box that consists mainly out of cardboard. Inside the box you can find the quick start guide, a warranty card and the FCC declaration. Also the device in a stylish white housing. On the back side of the device you find the connections, as well under the cover there are two SMA connectors for external antennas. On the top of the product there is a WPS button and on the bottom the device information. Also you find different plug faces for EU, UK and US in the box and the power supply. Slide the respective power plug face to the power supply and let it click in. For the wired connection you can also find a LAN cable in the box. We start the installation and open the rubber lid on the bottom of the device. Fit in the micro SIM card in the shown way and let it click to the device. If necessary use a pen. Then you can close the lid again. Now we connect the power supply on the right hand side of the back side to the plug and switch on the device on the power button. Allow the device to boot up in a few seconds. As soon as the LTE status is established and the Wi-Fi LED and lights, you can use the QR code on the bottom to connect to the wireless. Also, you can use the WPS button. To install the device, you need to download the LTE LE app from Google Play Store or Apple Store. How the installation works, let's have a look. After you downloaded and installed the LTE LA app on your phone, you can connect to the Wi-Fi using the QR codes on the bottom. The Wi-Fi connection is established in a few seconds. Then you open the LTE LA app, choose the group of devices you want to install and then the device itself using the model name. Connect with username and password and you find the status page of the device. On the advanced setting page you can change any configuration of the device using the different menu. You can also change the wireless settings to your own SSID and password, but note that the QR codes on the bottom are then no longer valid. Other clients can connect using the codes in the app. So we are at the end of our episode, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a new video from this channel. Also stay in touch with us on the Facebook account and have a nice day. We're Zysel and we're your networking ally.